Hey everyone, this is Ayambag Happy and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be discussing compact wallets. As you can see, I have laid out eight different compact wallets from my collection. And if you saw my complete SLG collection video, you may know that I rotate all of these as a form of mini wallet, depending on my mood or what I need to carry with me. I am very much used to searching out wallets and it's a fun process for me. I know I don't need eight compact wallets. It's just that I love having them all in my collection. I'm an SLG addict over here. And since they're here anyway, I might as well make a video about them, right? Now, among these, maybe one or two of them may not be originally intended as wallets like this key pouch over here. But given their functionality and design, they can be classified as a wallet in that you can fit your cards, cash, and coins all in one small leather good. It just depends on whether you like something that has a place for everything or you don't mind sticking them all in one big compartment. Given that they're all quite different from each other, I thought it would be interesting to compare and contrast between them and show you the same number of items and how they will fit in each of these small leather goods. Now, before anything else, I will not rank these compact wallets because I can't possibly do that. I have my favorites at a given time. For example, these three are my current favorites, but I haven't owned all of them long enough to be able to pick which is categorically the best and the worst for me. I will go through them one by one, I will give the name, show what compartments it has, and say a few pros and cons. Then, I will show if 8 cards, 5 bills, and 5 coins can fit inside. There's no basis for this, I just peg those values. My intention is to level the playing field so you can gauge which of these will best suit you and your needs. If it cannot accommodate those items, you'll see it. If it can fit more than what I mentioned, you'll see it as well. Also, I don't own a trifold wallet such as a Louis Vuitton Victorine, so most of these are simpler flap type or zip type wallets. I feel like each of these are good enough for me, so I apologize if I can't offer more examples. I can only give information based on what I own, so hopefully these eight will suffice. Let's begin. Let's start with the Gucci Gigi Marmont card case wallet. This is called Dusty Pink, but actually in person, it looks more like a dark beige shade. It features the Gigi Marmont logo in front and at the back. I love this detail right here. And it opens like this. So it has two card slots here, another one at the back, three card slots at the other side, and it has a zipped compartment for your coins. And most importantly, it has a space for your bills. So this was the very first luxury SLG that I purchased and my very first uh, compact wallet. Uh, ever since purchasing this, I haven't used a long wallet since. I've pretty much moved on to compact wallets because I feel like long wallets are just quite bulky and I am able to use and maximize compact wallets and at least I don't have to switch them out if I, you know, change to smaller bags or mini bags. I love that this... Uh, compact wallet pretty much has everything especially this feature where i can put my bills inside however the leather is quite delicate so as you can see here especially in the corners the wear and tear is really noticeable but it's still usable and functional despite that and it's more in the corners that got the most wear the rest especially the interior looks perfectly fine and you know as long as i can still use it that's all that matters and this was the only compact wallet I had for a quite a while. I used this nonstop for almost a year, I think. So I really loved using it. Now let's see if 8 cards, 5 bills, and 5 coins can fit inside. Let's start with the cash. There you go. It all fits quite easily. It still looks quite compact. There you have it, the Gucci Gigi Barmont card case wallet. Now let's take a look at my Fendi Nano Baguette Charm. This comes in many different designs, but I purchased the one from the California Sky Collection last 2020. So this pretty much only has one compartment inside with the flap at the back. And it also comes with a chain, which I don't really use. 
Let's remove this. What I love about the Nano Baguette Charm is that it's so cute and unique. Also, this feature right here, you know, allows it to quickly snap on and off your bigger bags. Uh, also, the gold chain strap, if you wish to use it, uh, you can wear it as a tiny bag. And though I personally won't. What's great is, you know, everything you can see in one place. Uh, however, if it's not filled, uh, this is quite hard to close. You have to actually really push hard in order to close it. Also, uh, since it's white, I can notice that there's quite a bit of wrinkling on the leather over here. But I personally don't mind because it, I think it goes with the territory with this type of leather. And it doesn't really affect the functionality of the baguette charm. So now let's test it out. Here, here are eight cards. That was pretty easy. Since the Fendi Nano Baguette has quite a bit of depth here, it can fit all of the items I mentioned above, plus a bit more change if you wanted. Uh, let's try doubling this up if it can still fit. Yeah, quite easily. There you go, the Fendi Nano Baguette Charm. Now let's discuss this Chanel Caviar O-Coin purse in the gorgeous turquoise gray leather. It features a snap closure, has two main compartments, one front flap, and a very small uh, flap at the back. I don't really use it. I'm not sure if I will. What I love about it is, first and foremost, this really unique color. I don't think I can find another... SLG of this kind in the future, so I love that I was able to snap it up in time. This snap closure is very easy and fuss free. Find it very easy to use. Also, since it's caviar leather, it's very sturdy, it's very durable. And the many times I've used it, I don't notice any color transfer whatsoever. I don't feel like I have to baby it. Uh, however, if I try to fill it up, which I don't really do, uh, it can get bulky, especially since the wallet itself is quite thick already. If I put in a lot of stuff, it will, it can probably go to this thick and it doesn't look nice. So now let's test it. Eight cards. There you go. All of them fit quite easily. From the side, it doesn't look too bulky. So yeah, the Chanel Caviar O coin purse. Moving on, let's now take a look at the Hermes Calvi card holder. This is in the Evercolor leather and the color is called Malachite here outside and Blue Atoll inside. I find Evercolor quite soft. I love touching it. I love how simple the design is. You know, it just has two compartments where you can slide in your cards and cash. However, I think this can probably get quite bulky as well if filled, though in itself it's quite thin. Uh, also, since you open it like this, coins may easily slide out if you decide to put in coins. So, uh, most probably this is mainly just for cards. It is a card holder after all. So, now let's test it. Let me try to put all the 8 cards on one side and the cash and coins on the other. There you go. That was quite easy. So here, it looks like a bit of an inverted V because of the coins. But without them, you can fit a bit more cash inside. And it doesn't look too bulky otherwise. There you go. The Hermes Calvi card holder. 
So that's four down, four more to go, and they are actually Louis Vuitton compact wallets. But before moving on to that, let me plug for a little bit. My name is Marie. I'm a luxury lover based in the Philippines, and I post videos about designer bags, SLGs, shopping, and anything and everything in between. So if you like this type of content, I do hope you consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you back here. Now let's discuss the Louis Vuitton Rosalie coin purse. I purchased the one in the Damier event print with the rose ballerine interior. So this is a flap type uh, compact wallet. It has two card slots here on this side and one card slot on the other. One big compartment here in the middle. And it has a zip compartment here in the front. So since I bought the one in the Dami Eben print, this is very hard wearing. I bought this back in 2018 and since then, even the rose ballerine interior is not discolored whatsoever. I also fill it but it doesn't get stretched and I also love this zip compartment. I don't use this for coins. I usually use it for credit card receipts or something similar. Since owning it in 2018, this is the main uh, thing that gets quite deformed, I should say. And also this button here gets a bit of wear. There you go. Now let's test it. There you go, everything fits. So it has gotten a bit of bulk on the side. But everything fits. There you go, the Louis Vuitton Rosalie coin purse. Now let's discuss a very popular and very versatile piece from Louis Vuitton. And this is the pochette clay, or more popularly known as the key pouch. I bought it in the Damier Graffiti color from the men's collection. It's very simple. It's a zip type of wallet with just one big compartment inside. I think this is a great compact wallet because it is very small but it's very roomy. It has a very simple design. It's easy to open and close and as you can see everything can just be placed all in one compartment. Now let's test it out. There you go, everything fits. You just have to fold up your bills another time in order to let it fit. It can still fit a number of coins inside. So as you can see, even if it's very simple and very small, it can fit a lot of stuff inside. This is our grab-and-go wallet for our house. Uh, if we just need to buy something quickly and run out uh, to run some errands, this is the wallet we use both me and my husband uses this. So it's a really great and very functional compact wallet. There you go, the Louis Vuitton pochette clay or key pouch. Now I'm going to be discussing this Louis Vuitton coin card holder. I bought the one in the Tigerama Blue Lagoon print. This compact wallet features one, two, three, four slots on this side one very wide card slot at the back so it can fit more than just cards and it has one main zip compartment in the middle i mentioned that this is one of my current favorites i think it's very practical very compact especially nowadays when i don't really have to bring eight cards with me uh, it works perfectly well and it's very slim so it can fit my mini bags to my normal size bags quite easily. I don't feel like I need to switch out uh, from one to the other. I also love using this because it's a bright color and it really stands out when it's inside my bag. However, sometimes I find it hard to insert card slots, especially, for example, all of these are filled in. It's harder to insert the card slot, but I don't know if in time it will all loosen up. So let's test it out.
there you have it as you can see it's a bit of a tight squeeze i had to double it up here and at the back it kind of looks awkward already so maybe you can only slide in uh, a card and then maybe a few pieces of paper and then inside of course the bills and coins fit, fit perfectly well let's see if we can slide it in here there how about we put this inside as well oh it's I think it's a bit of a tight squeeze already so I'm gonna remove these maybe just one card for now if you don't use coins or you have a separate coin purse everything will fit even easier but for now, as we test it, uh, it looks quite bulky with 8 cards. So maybe the limit is around 5 or 6, give or take. So there you go, the Louis Vuitton coin card holder. Last but not the least, let's take a look at the Louis Vuitton Zippy coin purse. Uh, now this Zippy coin purse is still available, but this particular print is no longer available. This is the black multicolor monogram so there's a zipper around the wallet and it features one two three card slots here a card slot in the middle another three card slots on the other side and two big compartments in the middle so what I love about this is, since it's canvas, it's obviously made of durable material. It's also quite easy to open and close. I didn't like zip wallets back then, uh, especially the zip long wallets. Since this is smaller, I don't mind. It's still easy to open and close, as you can see. And yeah, I'm now a zippy wallet convert because I've used this a couple of times and I really enjoyed it. Uh, especially with this print, I just loved using it. I love seeing it in my bag. And looking at this by itself, you already know that it can fit a lot of stuff inside. So without further ado, let's test it out. Without any effort, everything fits in quite easily. It already feels a bit bulky, but based on appearances, it doesn't seem like that. There you go, the Louis Vuitton Zippy Coin Purse. And that's it. 8 compact wallets that you might be considering for your collection. I hope I gave you some valuable information today. Which one is your favorite from these 8? Which one do you have your eye on? Comment down below and let me know. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell, anything to help show your support so I am encouraged to make more videos in the future. Again, thank you so much for watching. Keep loving luxury and stay bag or SLG happy. Salamat!